We finally just left Moab. I'm so excited to be getting out of there because a few days there is enough. It is hella expensive and the wind has been nuts getting in your mouth and everything. And I just, there's no good BLM camping there with good service. And I work remote, so that is just simply not possible. Look at this watermelon like gas propane tank. It's so cute. And there's a watermelon stand there, but it's not open. We stopped at that alien gas station thing right before you get back onto the highway from Moab. And the gas there was six dollars and like 20 cents six dollars that's insane so we did not fill there we're like 25 minutes down the highway at a loves there's two sides and gas is 470 here which is still expensive but a hell of a lot better than six dollars currently uploading a vlog for you guys along the way Multitasking at its finest. I had such a long day today as well at work. So, because there's no BLM land, really, with good service in Moab, I had to boondock there last night, sleep, and then basically all day was spent at the McDonald's parking lot in the main street of Moab because of the service. And I had to work. I had back-to-back -back meetings, so priorities, unfortunately. And I know you guys are so super curious and wondering about when am I gonna show my partner when am I gonna show my partner well you'll see him I'm not hiding him at all it's just timing and things take time and uh, you guys will meet him I know some of you have already spotted him in my other videos you ready Ricky you ready for the road so Moab was so beautiful I didn't want to put a damper on it when I was saying that it's so expensive and touristy it is really touristy though and that's the reason for the jacked up prices uh, sodas are like four dollars a, a bottle I everything is so expensive they add I feel like they add a lot of gratuity tax even for takeout in Moab I mean that's not normal for me to see so there's a lot of um, you know there's a lot of gift shops and stuff but I mean you're talking $40 for some of those shirts or whatever. It's just, it's not right. And the reason that they do it is because they can, uh, because we're in the desert and we're in the kind of the only main place around here. Um, and that's the reason for the hike and some gas prices as well. You, once you go to Arches, uh, it's your, your trip is basically done. You see Moab, it's, it's a very small inn. It's a really nice town, um, but it's not, doesn't take long to get through so those are the two main destinations uh, we were not super impressed with Canyonlands maybe that's just us we didn't see the whole park uh, we only went to the one area of the park um, but it wasn't anything that would make me want to go back so that's just my two cents on it but also just kind of a little insight um, on our take and how you may feel and how to be prepared if you are visiting the area Moab, but 
Um, I, just, I hate these prices and it sucks when you're getting 15, 16 miles to the gallon when you're towing. I know it could be worse, you know, but it's steep. The price is bad. Even in the winter time when I was in Arizona, much cheaper than now, if what, what it feels like it to my pocket. by far one of the most beautiful towns we've been to so far in Utah just the views we are in Spanish Fork Utah um, we're about 45 minutes from our destination it's it's so beautiful it's so peaceful the green of the mountains and the, the countryside is something out of a movie out of a picture This is from the gas station. You see what I mean? Like this is crazy. Imagine having this as your view. Oh my goodness. Good morning. I am in a new location. Made it here, finally got my spot secured. And I'm enjoying this view and this temperature. It's so comfortable. So we arrived late last night at like around 10 something p.m. So it was dark. So we kind of just parked here on the BLM land in like anywhere, stayed hitched and just slept. And now we have just found the perfect site. This is the view from the camper, from the living room slash office. breakfast is these Udi's gluten-free blueberry muffins. They're mug cakes, so they just um, go into a mug with water. It only takes about a minute, and they're ready. One of the many realities of working from home, well, in my case, working from my home, yeah, working from my camper, is professional top shorts on the bottom. It is a pretty busy BLM area for good reason, because of the views. There's some down here, and there's even some closer to the water, but due to the flies, um, you don't want to be down there. We actually got a great spot out here. added these levels here if you could see one there and also one on the hitch and we don't have to keep going in and out of the camper with the leveler um, like we did last night again in the dark so like hopping into the car going all the way back into the trailer and this is just so much easier I will tell you guys it is such a luxury to have a mirror and to be able to see your outfits it's just something that I really missed these past few months it's so interesting and so different to see all of the Mormon churches and all the neighborhoods here. It's like every half a mile or so you'll see like a few even populated inside the neighborhoods. Um, oh, here's one now. 
so to my point they're everywhere it's so interesting to see because they're the pointy kind of tip to them so you'll see them everywhere church of latter-day saints and i you know salt lake is even more obviously since it's you know the capital of mormonism so um that'll be super interesting but it's pretty interesting to see their devotion here I am freshly showered. I did a quick workout after work here in the Orem Provo area, so that felt really good. Just grabbed dinner and now we're gonna have a chocolate milkshake. I don't know, ever since Moab, I've been just craving them since I had them at Milt's, that little outdoor diner that I showed you guys. I don't know, something about it. And now I'm at this place called Leatherbees, and I guess it's a local place here and it looks really good. And what is my luck? It is going to rain here, only for like literally a few minutes, but it's gonna rain, so no pretty sunset tonight like it was yesterday, so boo. But for real, I cannot get over these mountains. Like this is just a shopping center, like this is insane to me. <laughs> like what? So it's not as good as milks in Moab. By far, it's totally subpar. It's like really not a creamy thick texture that you really want with a milkshake or I would have gotten ice cream but seek elsewhere there's a lot of milkshake places here just in the Provo area So I just got back from a walk around the BLM area where I'm staying and it's insane what a small world it is because I knew, well, like knew of three people who are camping here. One of them is a YouTuber and TikToker I followed for like ever. Um, and then another one is on one of my um, solo camping female pages on Facebook and we're actually friends on Facebook which is so crazy. And she has a travel trailer as well. And actually the both of them the both of them have travel trailers as well, which is really cool. And then somebody else is here. He's got like his box truck camper and he's got a deck on it. And I actually stayed right next to him in Lake Havasu on the BLM area there back when I was there in December, January. Back when I was there in January. So it's just goes to show you what a small world it is and also what a small but tight-knit community that we are in the full-time road life community it's so cool and um, I actually did speak with one of the um, girls from the Facebook page down down here in her travel trailer and she's got her two dogs with her and um, yeah it was kind of crazy it's like hey we're actually friends on Facebook we're part of this group blah 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 and it just it's so remarkable in this huge world that we live in we just have these connections and they just show up around us it's crazy